It's your boy ZP, ZP the I am. I am that I am, as you are that you are, for we are all that we are. From the individual to the many, from the many comes the all, and the all is one. So your boy's back at it, back with a brand new video. I wanted to get in this week just to drop a quick one. Um, I'm feeling into the collective energy, and I know typically around this time, a lot of people like to drop videos on energy work for the particular month, so to speak. Um, I just go with the energy and what I'm being called to. So in this moment, I'm really being called to deliver a message on the current energies. But before I do, just a quick reminder and a quick thanks to everybody who supports, who's shown love, and who has liked either my page or followed me on IG or YouTube, things of that nature. Be sure if you have not, click the like, hit subscribe, or follow again, ZayP the I am over on Instagram. You can catch me on Facebook for lives or if you want to book one-on-one -on -one sessions as well as coaching and mentorship. So, getting back towards the current energies. Right now, a lot of people are coming to this phase in the crescendo of their journey where they're encountering very close in their face expressions of their own shadows. People are coming face to face with having to deal with their shadow work and having to recognize and honor the inner child within. Well, all of that is leading up to ahead of us coming face to face and really being forced to deal with our actual shadows. And don't get me wrong, this is not to say um, that we haven't. Uh, collectively, we have been seeing more and more of our darkness, more and more of our shadows rise to the surface to be released and to be dealt with. Now, those are two different things at the same time. There's been a lot of release, natural releasing, natural uh, progression because as things rise to the surface, that's an expelling, that's a pushing out of, right? But there's still the issue at hand of actually dealing with it, right? Actually getting our hands dirty and actually doing our parts and dealing with that. And so currently in our own individual lives right now, a lot of these triggers that we've had to, that we've been experiencing, a lot of the shadows and darkness coming up, a lot of our questions around um, privacy and transparency, telling the truth, not to tell the truth, when to tell the truth, um, all of these things are coming to a head until culmination in this current moment where many people are actually forced to deal with their shadows. Not only are we just kind of mentally facing it and recognizing they're there, we're having to deal with them. And when we don't deal with them, they tend to deal with us. And this is how the universe works. When, we, when lessons arise for us to face and to deal with, we can try to avoid it. We can try to put that spiritual bandage on it. We can try to dance around things and not come face to face with actually getting our hands dirty and dealing with the muck. Well, then those issues tend to bubble over and explode, right? And so at this time, this is the moment where life is getting a little messy. Life is getting a little sticky. Things are getting really heavy and hard on the heart on the heart chakra, the heart space of the entire collective. A lot of people feel are feeling under attack. A lot of people are feeling under pressure, you know, based on the fears, based on the triggers that are arising and based on whether or not they're actually doing the work to deal with it. When we're not doing the work to deal with it, we're feeling these triggers and these stress stressors even more. And so right now, we really got to start getting our hands dirty and actually facing our fears and actually having those tough conversations, you know, making those uncomfortable choices, making those uh, uncomfortable moves, making those final decisions, right? A lot of us are dancing too much on the fence and just not choosing, not moving forward, not getting in the flow, not catching momentum because we're standing around in analysis paralysis or uh, just overthought, right? And so that's an aspect of the shadow as well. There's a fear there. What is behind that? What is causing this lack or this hesitation to move and to move forward? And so these questions and more are all coming to the surface. They're all coming to the head. Um, and this is what 2021 is going to be about. It's going to be the ebb and flows, right? Of us just kind of getting into a low and then having something else bubble and rise for us to deal with. And where we're at currently, um, we're seeing 
a lot of our internal sh shadows come up that we really we're going to need to turn to the inner child, really rediscover or tap into what we're feeling as far as what feels good to us. It may sound even selfish in a way, but it is selflessly selfish, right? Because if we are not actually at some point serving ourselves and making sure that we are good individually, then we are no good to anyone else, right? And so right now we're seeing those shadows that's causing us to come face to face with ourselves and how we're dealing with ourselves by ways of compassion by ways of loving our inner child, loving our inner child enough to allow that to express, right? To allow ourselves to have some fun, to allow ourselves to do some things that we love or to do things that we're invested in it simply because we are, simply because that needs to be fulfilled, right? These impulses come from within for a reason. They're part of our soul's growth, our soul's journey. They're also part of the expression of source. And when it comes up in you, it's meant for you to put it out there, right? It's meant for that continuation of the energy. And so right now, as these things are bubbling up and we're coming face to face with these parts of ourselves we shunned and we locked away, maybe we hid it away because we thought they were kid stuff. Maybe they weren't practical, Maybe they thought we there was stuff we thought we had to be ashamed of, so we had to hide them, the privacy again. Now it's time to come back to that. Now it's time to come face to face with that. Resolve whatever lingering issues, whether that's feeling ashamed, whether that it having to be courageous and be bold because it's not traditional, because it's not the norm, right? But being willing to step out into that because your soul is screaming for it. Because internally, you know that's the pull, that's the impulse. And it's there. It's there for a reason and it deserves to be honored. Even if you choose not to follow that expression, even if you choose to follow another impulse, right? The one from the mind or, or one that's just an impulse of life and the momentum is taking you somewhere. But making that choice, making that final decision instead of dancing on a fit on the fence or should I do this or should I do that right and so as these energies are coming to a head and they're splashing all over us we're really coming face to face with our own darkness and our own shadows and our own fears and it's manifesting in this particular way be compassionate with yourself look to your inner child to give you guidance as to the best feeling choice, right? The choice that is most in alignment with your highest self and with the self and will of the grand all. Because that is the impulse and that is where the soul growth lies for the collective. And so this is your opportunity and this is your invitation at this time. But know that if you're feeling these sensations that's causing anxiety, that's causing frustration, causing heart palpitations, understand it's because this work is still not being done and it is time to get your hands dirty and actually doing them. And not just mentally recognizing them, not just objectively seeing them, but actually doing the dirty work to clean up our mess, to face our fears, to take that risk, that leap of faith, and make it happen. So this is your message for the day. Ah. <sighs>